Why is it that um, the fund has decided to prioritize um, the work around um, anti-corruption and why is now the time to do it? Well, first of all, I'm very happy that we can discuss this, this matter and um, Transparency International has been fantastic in leading the way and, and pushing some doors and some, uh, some windows to let the light uh, come into the houses of some countries. And that's my point. When we act as advisor, as lenders, as providers of technical assistance, we're trying to consolidate an economy. We're trying to make sure that there is um, a fertile ground uh, to develop sustainable and inclusive growth. But if the house in which you try to um, install that sustainable and inclusive growth is gradually corroded by corruption, then those efforts are in vain. Number two, it came very clear to us that one of the key concerns of young people around the world was indeed corruption. Climate change is one which is a, a high on their mind in terms of priorities, but high on their minds in terms of concerns was corruption. And we have to respond uh, to those concerns.